Now, the only thing I do have to mention is that you want to make sure that your motion effect is off. If you have motion effect on, it will not work. It will not sync up with where that hole is supposed to be. And you just hit on set as wallpaper. You go back home and there you go. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel of Jimmy is Promo. Today we'll be talking about some of the coolest and best wallpapers you'd be able to use for the Galaxy Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus. Now, all of these wallpapers that I have downloaded came from three different applications, and we'll talk about all three of those different apps today. Now, if you are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy as Promo and you own a Samsung Galaxy device, don't forget to hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for future videos. And don't forget about that playlist tab on the very top to check out all the videos I've made so far for the Galaxy Note 10. So for the first application of where you're able to find some of these really cool Galaxy Note 10 wallpapers, we'll start off with Samsung. Then I'll show you where you can find it off of Reddit, as well as an application called Wallpix. Now, I'd have to say that the Samsung one is pretty hard to find, and so I was able to extract the link. So if you guys would like to check out all these different wallpapers we're about to check out here first, you can click the link below the video inside of the description. Now, these ones are ones that are pretty much curated from creators on Samsung. They were probably something posted on, you know, pen up. And so when you click on any of these ones, this is where you can go through and download and then apply. Now, this one was already downloaded so then I can just hit on apply and it's gonna be my brand new wallpaper so what does it look like if you want to get one of these that you know you didn't already download so right here you have your download button once you hit on download uh, this will not be saved into your gallery the location of where this will be saved is let's say that we go all the way back uh, inside of galaxy themes and so underneath wallpapers, this is where you can check out those wallpapers you just downloaded off the link I just gave you. So it's right here underneath my wallpapers uh, and you can see them on the top. You can see your gallery. You can see the ones you downloaded, the ones that were pretty much pre-installed. And so if you wanted this one to be used as your wallpaper, you can put it as home screen, lock screen, or both of them at the exact same time. Uh, so really that was kind of all I wanted to show you with inside of the Galaxy themes. Uh, you know, it was a little bit harder to find. So let's Let's go back inside of this link. Now going back inside of here, here is the rest of some of those different wallpapers. Uh, a lot of them are pretty animated, pretty colorful. Uh, something that was probably made with, you know, the paintbrush and, and everything else that you can do pretty much on the Galaxy Note 10. So these ones again are curated, you know, off of the Galaxy Store pretty much or the Galaxy themes. Now that we're done with these Samsung cutouts from the Galaxy themes, now let's move over into Reddit and where you're able to find all these different wallpapers. So first off, what you want to do is download the application that's called Reddit. You can also do it off of their website as well. Uh, but on the top, what you want to look for, and actually it shows it right here, uh, you want to search for, if you're brand new, search for Note 10 wallpapers. And then it'll take you to this page here. And then you're going to find a whole bunch of different really cool wallpapers you'd be able to use. So let's say that this was one that you would like to use. Once you click on it to expand it, on the top right hand side, you have the save option and then it saves it to your gallery. So I'd have to say Reddit is the easiest, uh, most uh, fastest way. It's also one that gets updated way faster than almost any other app that's out there. Uh, let's check out this Avengers one. So this one looks pretty cool. Now, if you're asking why it kind of looks a little bit uh, distinctive right there around my camera, it's because I still have my plastic protective film on the phone. If I was to take this off, that little shiny ring that you see around it, you probably won't see that. Uh, so it'll look a little bit better, but I'm saving that for me to take it off when I put on the Whitestone dome glass. So again, you go to the top, you hit on save, and there you go. You got another one that's saved that you'd be able to use. Now you will sometimes find, whoa, that one's pretty cool. Uh, so you will sometimes find ones that are smaller images uh, that kind of just, you know, fit inside of there. So it looks like we got some hockey ones. Uh, we got Groot, we got this PlayStation one. So you'll see something like this. Uh, when you touch on this one, it's not gonna be any of those that you download. Uh, you wanna find these full framed, full images right here. So this one will kind of blend in into that circle. Uh, looks pretty cool. So I'm gonna go through here and then hit on save. Uh, and then also what I do too is inside of gallery, once I get these ones downloaded, uh, usually what I do is, let's say we go over into Reddit, you'd be able to press and hold, and then you'd be able to move and I made a application or a, an album already called wallpapers. And so now um, all of my wallpapers will go into this one folder and I have, you know, quite a few of these. So I'd have to say probably half of these came from Reddit and then the other half is coming from this last application that we'll be talking about, which is called Wallpix. So let's head back over into the applications. 
uh, and let's move right here. So here's an application called Wallpix. It is free to download. And with this free download, you are able to set these wallpapers directly from the app. Now, the only thing is, let's say that you click on this one right here and you would like to set this as your wallpaper. Now, if you set it as your wallpaper, sometimes I don't always set it directly from an app. Um, I always download them and save them to my phone. So this way I have the physical image on my phone where nothing changes. And what I mean by that is that through this application, if I hit on set, let's say that the Galaxy Note 10 was to be upgraded to Android 10, but this app was not ready yet, then you would have issues. That is why I always download these specifically to the device and I don't use it or set it via the application. So I hope that that made sense. So through Wallpix, just like, you know, Reddit and everywhere else, you want to touch on the image just to see how good it looks. Um, if you hit on the set button, you can choose home screen, lock screen, or both, you know, just like what you saw from before, or you can hit on save right there. But the only thing I have to say with this application, it is free to set it from the app, but you'd have to purchase the pro app, which I did. It was only three bucks. You hit on save and then you're able to download all of these images to your phone. But let me show you the easiest way to find it because sometimes you'll see there's like AMOLED and a whole bunch of other different categories. You wanna to touch on that option right there, the very first tab. You can scroll down and there is actually a lot of good ones inside of AMOLED, but as you scroll down, you're gonna see one that actually says Note 10. Sometimes pattern can also work for this phone. Just find a pattern where it's kind of black, you know, right there. Other than that, let's hit on Note 10 and then you have all of these pretty cool wallpapers. So you can see some of these were already downloaded to my phone uh, that you saw earlier. So this is the one that I'm running right now. Um, I was able to either download it or I can set it, but this is the one that I'm using at this moment in time. Uh, and then let's see, let's go through here. We have another Spider-Man one. Uh, you know, this one's pretty popular. Pretty much, uh, I would say, you know, Spider-Man was pretty big. Uh, stuff with basketballs are pretty big. Uh, here's one with a camera, which is also pretty sick. So this is almost like, what is that, GoPro Session, I believe. Um, so that one actually looks pretty fun. And I like the, the contrast of red and black, which is pretty much, you know, again, the colors that I use uh, for this YouTube channel. So if you like this one, you can set it or you can hit on save. Once you hit on save, it goes into this little file downloaded uh, in screen. And now that it's done, now let's head over into the gallery. Uh, let's go back one. And then if we go to wall picks, here is the one that we just got done doing. Again, I like to move these to my wallpaper folder because I want everything just to be in one place. And then now I have all of these really cool wallpapers. Now, the thing I love about this one is that sometimes you just wanna move it just a little bit just to see how perfect you know, this little circle fits inside or the camera fits inside of these little small spaces. Uh, so this one's just gonna blend in with black. Again, you won't see it once you take off that protective film. The, 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 the crow eye is one that's actually pretty cool. This one's one of my favorites. I'll probably switch to this one here in just a little bit. Probably when I put on uh, my, my white stone dome glass just so I can take it off and it's gonna look pretty sick. Now setting these wallpapers that are stored inside of your gallery, tap on the image, go to the top right hand side and then hit save as wallpaper. And then let's say that you save it for home. Now, the only thing I do have to mention is that you wanna make sure that your motion effect is off. If you have motion effect on, it will not work. It will not sync up with where that hole is supposed to be. You just hit on set as wallpaper. You go back home and there you go. This looks awesome. I have to say, it looks super cool. So write a comment below the video, which one of those wallpapers you saw of mine that you really liked, uh, which one of these that you will probably also download yourself. Um, also, which one of these three locations have you been using or which one of these three locations will you start using to get some of these wallpapers for the Galaxy Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus? Now, the last thing I wanna end on is that there's another application called Heidi Hole. This is one that I'm hoping will be updated for the Galaxy Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus. So, so far they've made it for the S10, the S10e and the S10 Plus. This was the application that everybody used for the Galaxy S10 series. Uh, but now I really hope that they can also incorporate some of the stuff for the Galaxy Note 10 because that was one of my favorite apps from before. So again, today, everything that we covered, uh, let's say that we go back inside of here. We covered the Samsung cutouts. Again, that link will be below the video if you guys wanna click on that. We covered Reddit as well as wall picks. So I hope that you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. You subscribe right over here, the very bottom left-hand side, this little circle. Share this video with your friends and family and social media sites. And other than that, I'll see you guys later.